Good morning, everybody. Um, it is pretty early, it's 6 a.m., but we are in Washington, so it is so dark in the forest right now, it's so beautiful. This is probably the most humid morning we've ever woken up to. Um, it's cool, it's wet, but it made getting our shoes on super easy. Uh, I mean, I love this climate, this feels like home. So we are getting to the base of the Goat Rocks Wilderness today. And then tomorrow we're gonna get some great views, but excited to get some miles done and uh, let's see what we're gonna see. Well, it's been raining. I had no idea we were gonna go through a burn section in the Mount Adams area, but here we are. Wow, it looks so demonic right back there with the clouds and the burn. But uh, pack cover works. Molly's got a garbage bag in hers. I'm not even using it right now. Oh, uh, well. It's not raining enough for me to warrant its use. Well, we'll see how we'll she see. feels. <laughs> you caught me. Hi, everybody. I haven't talked to you this morning. Um, we're walking towards Mount Adams. It's beautiful. The mosquitoes are bad. We might have missed Oregon's mosquitoes, but we have walked right into Washington, so there's no escaping. <laughs> but the trail is beautiful. I can't even begin to imagine what the rest of this trail is gonna be like. I am so excited. All right, we've entered some kind of boulder field here. Wow, that is gushing. I'm just videoing <laughs> and you're in it. All right, just crossed Adams Creek. Looked more like Adams River of Doom in my opinion. Uh, it was just a little scary to cross on the logs, but we made it. It was totally safe. And now we have two miles to lunch. We're taking lunch in a meadow that is likened to Lord of the Rings, so I'm very excited. Let's get there, I'm hungry. Dude, we just crushed 15 miles. That's crazy, oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, we have another half a mile to lunch. I'm gonna do about 15 and a half. It has been the most beautiful day, as you can tell from all the videos we've taken. Um, really just like rejuvenating us, getting us back into the groove of through hiking. We've been in a funk for the past few weeks, but dang, it's feel, it feels so good to be on trail. And Washington is just getting more and more beautiful as we speak. We made it to lunch. Oh yeah, we did. It's beautiful. We're in Rivendell. We're in Rivendell. And then Adams is over there and Rainier is somewhere over there. All right, so this is our current lunch attire to protect ourselves from the mosquitoes. They aren't getting me. <laughs> yeah, not through that t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Dan's got his rain cover on his legs. Got my rain jacket. I'm wearing a double hoodie right now. Hopefully double they, hoodie. Double hoodie. All Hopefully the they can't bite through this. I'd be really confused if they could. So it's currently 4 p.m. Um, pretty much the entire morning and half of the afternoon, we were just running from mosquitoes, flies that were biting us. And uh, now we're just floating heads. We're 23 miles into our day. I think we got another four and a half or five miles to do. Um, but <clears throat> my legs are tired. My mind is tired just because I've been pushing and pushing all day to get away from those bugs. And lunch wasn't even relaxing because there were so many bugs there too. And now I've just digressed to complaining. So um, I'm excited to get to camp. Well, good morning, everybody. We didn't film last night because the mosquitoes were so bad that we were frantically getting the tent set up and just hiding from them. But we are on trail now. I'm still running from the mosquitoes. They are vicious. <laughs> One on my hand. Um, yeah, we're doing goat rocks today. Let's go have a fun time. Morning, everybody. Had to escape the mosquitoes. There are at least 500 
surrounding our tent. And the minute we opened our tents to pack up, they came attacking. It was really horrible. Um, we entered the Go Rocks Wilderness, which is what we've been hyping for a while. We're very excited to see this, but oh my gosh, this morning was rough. So can't wait for these views. All right, officially entering Goat Rocks Wilderness. Now, if that isn't just the most magical thing you've ever seen, I don't know what is. Woohoo, mama. All right, well, this morning was very frustrating. We basically ran from mosquitoes for the first 12 miles of the day and it rained. So it was pouring rain, running from mosquitoes, no chance to really take a break. But now we are climbing Sispis Pass up to the Goat Rocks, clear skies, just some white fluffy clouds. And it is absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to get up there. Wowzers. It's Switzerland. All right, Washington, bring on the goats. I want to see a mountain goat. Do you think we will today? Nope. Oh. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Goats and rocks. Goats and rocks. Say with me. Goats and rocks. Goats and rocks and goats. <laughs> Made it to the top of Sispas Pass. Yay. Nah, I don't have anything to say. Where you both going? How far? About 11 more. I think about 11 more miles. Well, the clouds are blocking it, but that's Rainier right there. Absolutely spectacular. Holy cow. It's like we're back in the Sierras. Okay, we're about a mile away from starting the alternate, which used to be in the old PCT. I don't know why the new PCT is rerouted, but there's a little blue blaze to go up to Mount Snowy. Everyone has been saying to do it, so we're doing that. I think that's it behind us. I don't know where else it would be, but we're doing Knife's Edge too. It's, I'm very excited for this. Um, this is definitely gonna be probably a top five moment. Let's do it. So I know we said we're going to do Old Snowy, but there's a lot of clouds overhead and they don't look really great. Um, so I don't think we're going to do it, but you'll still see Knife's Edge, which is going to be beautiful. Okay, let's go. I guess, um, whoa, the goat rocks are so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at those views. How does it feel, Maul? <laughs> Just, uh, yep, paradise. <laughs> there but that is the trail insane definitely probably the best section of anything I've ever done all right the goat rocks have been absolutely incredible Rainier finally decided to peek out from the clouds and has also just been incredible this is an area I definitely plan on coming back to um, I was right before. This was top five of the PCT, if not top three. Like it was just, it was something else. Good morning, everybody. We're making it to White Pass today. 
getting into the town of Packwood, taking uh, Nero. It's not really a Nero, we're doing almost 13 miles. But this is our second to last day in Mosquito Hellhole. Um, we're excited to get out of it. It wasn't bad this morning and it's nice and cool this morning. So hopefully it's keeping them away just for a little longer, but let's get to town so we don't have to deal with it. Good morning, Washington. Wow. Super clear view of Rainier. Look at that. We got a ride! 